This is my front yard. It's a nice day. There's an animal there, but it wants to go back in the house as usual. Um, nice bucolic scene. Bushes growing along here. Um, this herbaceous border that I've got in the front of the house is really an experimental area where I'm just trying to see what things will grow here in this particular microclimate and what won't. Um, this bush, this rose bush was here before I came here and we've had a lot of flowers from it this summer. It's not flowering right now except for one but the dead heads have been cut off almost most of them and no doubt it will be back again soon. There's a banana tree growing in the corner there. I don't think it's a good space for, place for it. It's sort of starting and stopping and starting and stopping. We'll see how it goes. This red leaf bush I recently transplanted because I want to bring a bit more color and I've got loads of them growing all around the house. This here is orange chrysanthemum which is interesting because I got this from Aldi last November as so it was just coming into flower. So it's unflowered. It's already got a few new flowers out and a few buds and I'm surprised to see it flowering so early in the season. But um, maybe as the days get longer it's, it will slow down its growth. I don't know. This pansy plant has been fantastic. I've grown this Planted this back in November, I think it was. Got it for Walmart. It's grown and expanded. It's growing like a weed. It's flowered continuously. It's even started a family over here where there's another little one growing. And I'll definitely get some more of those because those um, provide color and they grow like crazy. This is a bigger chrysanthemum that I got from Walmart. And again, I've been really pleased with it because it's flowered all through the winter and continuing to flower. And I've just cut back the deadheads today and um, it's got some new buds going we should get some more flowers out of that soon this is another rose plant which i got not long ago it's got a bud coming here seems to be doing okay more chrysanthemums here this one's not so developed uh, but this buds coming out orange chrysanthemum probably need to cut it back um, these purple chrysanthemums coming out again marigolds in the pot doing nice this hanging plant here, put it outside to give it a bit of air. In here we've got some uh, purple leaf basil just starting to grow, a mint plant that's doing very well, and flowering wildly is this pineapple sage, which is another herb which is doing well. This red plant was rather languishing and I, I it was in a pot on the porch forever and occasionally got watered and I took it out not long ago and put it in the planter. It didn't grow in the right. Some more marigolds there. This um, is an azalea bush, I think, um, which I haven't had much flowering out of that, but we'll see how that goes next year. Behind it is an oleander, which a little bit of flower coming out, hasn't been there long. We've got some Mexican heather along there, which came in with the house. Well, in these black tin planters I've got some strawberries, which I was just growing a few plants, kind of experimental. We've got one or two strawberries off them, but I can't say they've done very well. And I think I'm going to have to up my game with managing the strawberries if I'm going to grow them again next year. Anyway. Um, so there we have it. Oh, and down here we have, and this one hasn't been here all that long either, hibiscus bush, which um, the flowers come out in the day and then they close. And quite interesting, we'll see how that one... We'll see how that one does. So there we have it. Oh, and over here, this geranium, which unfortunately two of the flowers, the stems are broken. I'm not sure if they got moved, broken in transit or whether it's a kid's or a dog or something broken once flowers grown away. But I, I think it's got more flowers going to come out and should be looking good soon. Got an array of assorted um, planters here. I, I made all these planters myself, poured with concrete and mixing it with perlite and peat moss to make a lighter mix with various degrees of success. Um, some of them didn't come out too well, some of them came out rather well. Um, I got these stones from somebody who was giving them away free in Jacksonville, loaded up a few bucket loads of them and I used some of them to ornament the edges of these um, these planters. These plants are doing really, these herbs are doing really well in this planter. And 
to find something to put into this planter here because it's looking a bit forlorn and empty. So, um, these plants are on the south side of the house, facing south. This is the, the house part of the house, the front here is facing south. So they get lots of sun. So I'm trying to put things that like sun in here. And it also has the built-in watering things here, which is very handy because I can just go and turn it on for 10 minutes in the evening without turning on the whole system and keep them watered. So there you have it.